PubMed includes all types of literature, so you'll often find thousands of results in your topic, even using Pico to select the most relevant keywords. Let's review search techniques that will narrow your results to the highest levels of evidence. The basic PubMed search screen is simple to use. The Boolean operator AND is the default between each word, so you do not need to type in AND. Remember AND narrows your search and retrieves records containing all the words it separates. Using PICO, the P represents population. In this example, we'll use patients with carpal tunnel syndrome. So let's run a search for carpal tunnel syndrome. The auto populate is based on popular searches, not a controlled vocabulary or MESH, subject headings created by the National Library of Medicine. If you want to learn more about MESH, click MESH database on the front page of PubMed under more resources. As stated, auto-populate is based on popular searches, however PubMed does automatically match keywords entered to MeSH headings if there is a clear match available. So by default, your search is expanded to all articles with the MeSH heading as well as your keyword. Let's go ahead and hit the search button. You'll see we get over 7,700 results. So let's go ahead and add I from PICO, the intervention. In this example, we'll use non-surgical or conservative treatment. Clicking search, you'll see we're now down to 283 results. Let's explore how the PubMed filters can be used to narrow your results to better levels of evidence. On the left hand side, you can limit by things such as publication date, languages, species, and more. Under article types, you can choose multiple types of article, such as clinical trial, which will show only those results which are clinical trials, of which there are 41. You can add additional article types, for example, systematic reviews. You'll see you now have even more results, a total of 70. That's because when you select more than one article type, it uses the Boolean operator OR, meaning results that are clinical trials or systematic reviews. Both result sets are included. If you wish to remove one of the filters, just click the link again. On the right hand side, you'll see the option to view titles with your search terms. These are articles that have similar MeSH headings to your search results. Scrolling down on the page, you'll see search details. Carpal tunnel was matched to a MeSH term automatically by PubMed as there was a clearly related term available. If you want to see the specifics of how PubMed interprets your search terms, be sure to look here. Next, I'll go ahead and click on an abstract to view more details. Scrolling down, you'll see the publication type is a randomized control trial. The abstract also lists associated MeSH headings. If you find one or more of the MeSH headings particularly relevant, you can click on the term to add it to your search. This will create a new search in the search field at the top of the screen. MeSH headings that contain an asterisk indicate it's a major topic of the article. Results containing a backslash, such as carpal tunnel syndrome slash diagnosis, indicate a major term with a subheading associated. Also of importance are related citations found at the top right of the abstract. These are search results using the same MeSH headings as the specific abstract. Here you will see the term review. Please note that these may include systematic reviews, but they also include less rigorously conducted literature reviews, which are often done as part of a case report. This type of literature review is not considered a high level of evidence. Going back to PubMed Home by clicking the PubMed icon, you'll see your filters are still activated. Click Clear All to remove them. Next, we'll take a look at PubMed clinical queries. From the PubMed homepage, they can be found under PubMed Tools, or under the advanced search feature under the search box. The advanced search feature also shows your search history. At the top of this page you'll notice a drop down menu labeled more resources. Select clinical queries. On the PubMed clinical queries page you can learn what the clinical query filters are and the methodology behind each of these filters. We'll go ahead and enter our search for carpal tunnel syndrome in the search box. On the results page, you'll see the results default to therapy and broad. You can change the categories to things such as etiology, diagnosis, prognosis, and more. Or you can change the scope from broad to narrow. 
you'll see we have 166 systematic reviews. Let's go ahead and add our intervention to the search, non-surgical or conservative. Clicking search, you'll see this narrows our number of systematic reviews to 30. I'm going to go ahead and click see all at the bottom. From this page, you'll have the option to add more filters on the left-hand side as previously described or take advantage of the send to function. Send to allows you to email yourself results or copy them to the clipboard. The clipboard functions as a temporary collection point for relevant citations that last for the duration of your search. If you have further questions on PubMed, be sure to contact the library staff.